off uh, yesterday. Over okay. Where, where's your car at? Over there. Swing by, grab no. it. That was you want to go grab it and bring it down, or are they All right. not yet? Uh, not yet. They, they still need them. them and they, they say it's cold and She's the lady's not right, and I don't want to. I don't want to start getting into it. Okay, my name's uh, Dave Schaller. Spelling on the last is S C H A L L E R, and I am the patrol lieutenant here at the San Marcos station. Okay, at about 10.30 today, deputies from the San Marcos station were dispatched to this location. There was an argument between a mother and her uh, intellectually disabled 27-year-old son, David Nelson. Apparently, the argument had started when uh, David had killed his mother's turtle, very small turtle, but had killed the turtle uh, for unknown reasons. And the uh, obviously, an argument occurred between he and his mother. Uh, during that argument, he produced some sort of a black object, which she would believe was a gun. Uh, he told her he was going to kill her, he would kill other people, and that he would kill responding law enforcement. Uh, the mother was able to run out of the house and get to her car and leave before she called for help. Uh, deputies responded, saw him inside the home, however he would not come out when they attempted to call him out. Uh, once, uh, once he refused to come out, deputies notified the sheriff's SWAT team and with assistance from the Carlsbad police SWAT team, uh, the two units were able to come out, deploy gas ultimately. Uh, into the trailer, which uh, got Mr. Nelson to come out of the house and surrender. Uh, he was taken into custody. Uh, he did not appear to be injured. Uh, nobody else was injured, uh, and it resolved itself peacefully. Where no guns, no guns in there? No. They, the detectives are following up at this time. Uh, there, We do not know if there are any firearms. I did talk to a neighbor who said that they believe the mother owns a gun, but that it's normally uh, stored in a safe. How do you kill the turtle? I don't know that actually. Uh, I did talk to the neighbor, and she said the turtle's quite small. She like basically like the size of a silver dollar or something oh. like that. Very small turtle. But how, how was he when you guys took him into custody? Just from the video, he didn't seem that concerned. So yeah, yeah, he did seem to be very uh, quite mellow. He didn't appear to me to be under the influence at the, at that time. He didn't appear to be under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Unknown, maybe maybe that was an issue earlier that resolved itself over the couple hours it took to uh, to you know to play out. 
Um, but again, I, I didn't see him. He didn't appear to be injured, uh, and he seemed to be doing as the uh, the deputies asked him to do. He was following their directions at that point. Who lives here? Just him and his mom? He lives here with his mother. His mother, I'm told, is in her early 50s. And, uh, the deputy we spoke to earlier sounded like he actually knew him. It's not the first time he has been here. Yeah, I, I'm, uh, I've not been out here before. I'm new to the San Marcos station. Uh, but uh, the, the deputies and talking to some of the residents in the area, we have been here. Apparently this has been an ongoing issue with this individual. There's been uh, a number of incidents. There's some neighbors here that uh, have some great concerns about his behaviors. I know he said he threatened, he told his mom he would threaten law enforcement when they came, but did he make statements to law enforcement once they were here, threats toward them? I, I'm not aware of that. I'm not aware of that. Uh, he told mom that, and that obviously went out in the call when it initially went out, but I'm not aware of him actually having made any, uh, you know, call outs like, hey, I'll shoot you or anything like that. What kind of brought this to a close? You just kind of, okay, hey, I'm tear giving gas. up, or you guys just kind of got around him? Uh, Sheriff SWAT deployed uh, tear gas into the home, into the bedroom where he was, and uh, apparently that drove him out of the residence pretty quickly from what the SWAT deputies told me. Thank you. Thank you.